Okay, done. Welcome back to the channel, everyone. As always, I do hope you are well. Welcome to the, the very noisy golf. Definitely needs a service soon. But uh, it's a bit of a sad day today. We are returning the golf back to stock. Yep. Fun bumper is already off. Uh, as you tell us, uh, well, I think I mentioned it before in the last video, but it, it did crack off. So uh, we'll start by a car there. Oh, we started by a car. Yeah, that's one, Jay. Yeah, so let's get some sunlight in. The bumper has cracked off. So unfortunately, it's gone to the bin. I'll just, just cut it up, put it in the bin. So we're going to go now to Eastwood or East Leak. I'm going to grab a new bumper. It's going to be a stock bumper, so a bog standard bumper like that one. Um, no real reason, just, you know, it's a cheap one. It's basically a stopgap bumper in between because uh, I will find a new one at some point. Either way, let's get in the car. Let's head over to get the bumper. A quick side note, I'm absolutely certain there's a spider living in my wing mirror because I come back every day and I wipe off a spider web. I don't know what it is. I think there's, there's a geezer in there. I'm going to call him Larry, all right? So is he there? Larry! It's him, it's there! You prick. Let's scare him off. Yeah, it's gone. Bastard. So in the car, everything's set up, ready to go. Uh, we've got our casual flurry of lights today. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, definitely get sorted. Uh, that's, can, that's fine, that's fine. That's fine. They can be fine if I sort it out. That's obviously fine as, that's obviously fine as well. Uh, that's fine. I don't have a light in the moment because it keeps falling out. So that's obviously fine again. And uh, those two. Well, I think that's my power steering because I've, I've done the, uh, you know, you turn to the left and you turn to the right and everything. Uh, no, that didn't work. So um, I think it's definitely some power steering fluid that I'm low on. The engine night has popped up recently. Uh, I'll definitely get that sorted out. But as you know, it's a golf and these things happen. <laughs> That's not a good sign, is it? Either way, hop in the car now. It's a 20 minute drive, as I said. Uh, I probably won't film on the way there because I haven't got a passenger because um, I'm forever alone. <laughs> but either way, you all can come along with me. The community, the Power by Petrol team, uh, we'll head off now and I'll see you when I get there. Oh, listen to that gurgle. Rumble, 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 please service me. Anyway, so here's the bumper. It's an uh, LC5F, I believe. Uh, LC, yeah, LC5F. It's like a kind of light, pale, dark blue kind of thing. Um, either way, I'm not bothered. I'm going to get some paint now. So you're going to join me on the way to Halfords. Also, say hello to um, Kaylee, or Kaylee Barlow. Uh, she had a static 120D. It was in white with a very bold tyre, which we won't talk about. Um, she has got like 200 horsepower or something like that, so it's a very nice, it sounded very good as well for a diesel. So uh, go show her some love there. But either way, say hi to her, give her a follow and whatnot, and uh, go message her and tell her that she needs to change her tyres, because they're very bold. So I just got gloss black, as you can tell. Um, I was gonna get the black magic or the black pearl. Uh, that's LC9Z and LC9X, but I thought I'm not really bothered about it. I just need the bumper in black, so it blends in with the car. And then afterwards I can sell it on to uh, someone else. Cause obviously, like I said, I'm gonna have it for like two weeks and then put my original bumper back on when it is fixed. And when I say fixed, I mean when I glue it on and do some random stuff to it to make it work again. So we're gonna leave Halfords now with our paint and uh, I don't think I will show you guys the painting process because I've done that so many times before. I think I will just uh, crack on with it in the background and then I'll get back to you guys when it's actually going on the car. Also, I knackered my wheel. So that, uh, the M1, uh, what? The M140 iron that drove past, and I got some footage on it. Uh, so I pulled to the side because like, there was a there was a Range Rover behind me, and then the M4. I pulled to the side to let the Range Rover go past, and then as I was coming out of like, this little side road, I curved the wheel and knackered it as well. That's so annoying. Uh, I'm definitely going to sort it out. Um, although it might be for sale, possibly. But either way, as I said, uh, let's get back home. 
I'm gonna crack on with the bumper and then uh, I'll show you when it's done. Several days later. And there we go. We are back to stock. Um, no real reason, just because uh, the old one bumped, cracked off. Speaking of, I have actually bought a new bumper. It's a uh, GT bumper again, over there. Actually, it's been painted, but uh, I can't put it on just yet. Just gonna need to trim the back a bit first. So uh, for now, there we go. The uh, stock bumper's on. Doesn't look too bad, to be fair. I quite like it. It goes well with the car, of course. But there we go. So. So I didn't record an outro, like a proper idiot. But either way, that's the car done. That's the bumper on. Some more content should be coming out soon. Unfortunately, I've been a bit ill. Uh, I've had coronavirus and uh, bits and bobs here and there. No excuses. Need to get back on it, which I will do. Some more content coming out soon. Some very exciting content too. So stick around, enjoy the content, and I'll see you all very soon.